Empty Bottle Reviews, Episode 3, right after this. Welcome to Episode 3 of the Empty Bottle Reviews. As always, if you like what you see, subscribe, like, and comment below. Uh, so with the Empty Bottle Reviews, my goal is to uh, tell you my thoughts about a bottle after I've completed the entire bottle, how it's evolved over the, the course of drinking it. So with that, let's start off with bottle number one for Episode 3, and that is the Deanston 18-Year-Old. So the Deanston 18 is one of those whiskeys that uh, connected with me early on in my whiskey journey and one that still delivers today. This one, first, if we talk about value, this one is such an exceptional value. Somewhere in the $70 to $80 ballpark if you get it abroad, and it absolutely delivers a phenomenal ex-suburban experience. This is bottled at 46.3%, so it has enough ABV to give you some depth and some layers to the ex-bourbon maturation and then it just has such wonderful fruity creamy tropical notes to it um, this is one that i always plan on having in my on my shelf i've already got a backup um, on my shelf behind me um, and i would give this one anywhere between a nine and a nine point two five out of ten um, so to put that in context this is about the 38th best bottle of my 138 ish or 128 138 bottle kills to date so if you can get this one, especially around $80, I highly recommend it. This is one I'm always going to keep with me. That's a Deanson 18. My next bottle kill for uh, this episode is not a whiskey. It is a rum, and this is the Holmes K Fiji rum, age 17 years. Now, this one... You still can get online. You can still find it. It's on the pricier side of $150. But for what you're getting in this bottle, it is easily worth that price. This is actually a great value. You're getting a 17-year-old rum bottled at 58%, so cath strength, and matured in American oak casks. And uh, distilled at the South Pacific Rum Distillery in Fiji. So this is a distillery that recently just signed a, a exclusive contract with Plantation Rum. So in order to, uh, to get something... Uh, unique and interesting as this single cask uh, those times are slowly coming to an end so if you do find this if you do come across this I would highly recommend it to date this is the best rum I've ever had that is the Holmes K Fiji 2004 next up by next bottle kill for this session was one that actually really surprised me and that's the Ben Romack cask strength now this is the uh, batch one distilled in 2008 uh, bottled in 2019 so we have an 11 year old cask strength scotch whiskey bottled at 57.9 percent um, and this one was really surprising because i wasn't a huge fan of the ben romack 15 year old i thought it was pretty good but not great um, and I thought the low ABV of 43% really didn't connect with me I thought it felt like it needed an extra uh, strength to it to really kind of bring out the interest, interesting distillate that Ben Romack has and luckily the cash strength absolutely delivers on that you have a sherry maturation or at least some combination of sherry next bourbon and this one really provided a unique in-depth uh, experience you had that gentle peat in the background with those rich chocolatey uh, dried fruit notes from the sherry casks and then if you look at value this one is an exceptional value as well I think I paid somewhere around 70 ish dollars for it easily worth it this will be one that I look to get future editions of that is the Ben Romack cast strength and finally for my most recent bottle kill this one is the Kilcarran 16 this is the 2021 edition so the one that just came out last year and for me this is the best Kilcarran whiskey I've had to date even I liked it even more so than the Kilcarran eight-year-old um, 2019 edition which was the one that was raved about and the reason why is that this is a very subtle and nuanced whiskey it's not gonna be bold and in your face but it's got that gentle Cameltown funk and Pete that you'd expect from a Glen uh, a Glengyle whiskey 
and uh, this one is just one that I kept on reaching for and going back. Uh, the, the price on this one is not cheap though, especially if you live in the United States. I got this for $150-ish and that is very expensive. So for most people, I'm not sure I would necessarily recommend this unless you absolutely have a Kilt Karen or a Spring Bank Bias and you really enjoy their cast characteristics and their whiskey styles, then it's definitely worth $150. But given it's more nuanced and subtle expression, some may not value it as much as I do. So for me, this is absolutely worth $150. For most people, I'm not so sure. But so far, I've got a few more of these on my shelf. And out of the 128 bottle kills, this one ranks at number 27. So this one's easily above a 9.0 on average. So that will do it for episode three of the Empty Bottle Reviews. Once I finish four more bottles of whiskey, I will have episode four. So until then, take care and don't forget, comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you later.